By some algorithmic mystery, you tripped into the John Freitag channel. Welcome aboard. Well, I'm down here working on this old shed again. Going to make it into a bedroom or whatever. Um, anyway, so I want to put these windows in. Figuring out how to put them in because there really is no way to nail them. Uh, usually there's a nail flange or some hole here I could put a screw in through the side, but I'm not seeing that on these windows and I don't want to mess them up. Looks like maybe there's a flange here at one point, but these are old used windows. They're in good shape, but they are old and uh, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to attach them other than wedge them in with shims, I guess. Um, and then I got to set them out because I want them like the bottom sill on it. I want that to stick out past the siding. So basically I got to go about two and a half inches past the sheathing because the siding will be one inch cleat board and then a board and then a bat two and a half inches out would give it a half inch out so that's what i'm going to do with that i'll show you what it looks like when i'm done and i got this framed up and lowe's delivered the door right there it is so we'll be throwing that in as soon as i get counter to give me a hand today i rebuilt these steps now these steps on the house they just rotted and I think they didn't use any treated lumber. Probably figured to get away with it because there's quite a big overhang, you know, so they don't, they don't get direct rain on them, but they do get wet at the bottom. But anyway, I mainly just copied it. They came out pretty good. They're pretty even what they're supposed to be. They'd probably even pass code, so that's good. Um, so I got that done. So I guess my next thing today, is I'd like to get ready for spray foaming again. So I think I wanna get that window in. I'd like to get this door set. I'm gonna put some siding boards on this already. Get that all done. Uh, so uh, I guess that's my plan. Do, do that stuff and get that all, all dialed up. I gotta finish it right up to the top. Close this up. I'm probably gonna mount a box here just to put one light over on this side, maybe like a sconce. This will be the side of the slider that won't operate. It's the stationary glass part. And that's the side I'm just gonna put one sconce there. Okay, we're gonna put these windows in. Are you ready, hon? I'm ready. All right. Do I've it. Got, I've got the Empress as my able assistant. Also known as a sous chef if you were doing my stuff. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. I always wonder what a sous chef. I thought this meant was chef that sued people. Yeah. No? Mm -hmm. That was silly. Edit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you have any content at all with all the edits. I know. Now, what we gotta do. Because we want this edge sticking out two and a half inches. So maybe you will do the tape measure. And don't let it fall out, obviously. Right. That would be good to not let it fall out on me. Right. How's that look? It looks great. Is that two and a so, half inches? I don't know. No, it's three inches. So it's got to come back in. We're, okay. Let's, right. We're going to do the bottom first. Am I going from yep, here? Yep, all the way to the bottom. It's three inches. Three less. You got it? Got it. Okay, right down there at the bottom, the way I got it this side, put one shim in. We're going to shim this thing in, and then I'm going to spray foam it. That, pull the shim out a little bit, honey. What? You got too far. Yep, right there. Now double check your numbers. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now... We gotta measure the top. Is that pretty much it? No. Nope. Yeah, that is on that side. Needs to come out on. No, nope, that's really. You got two and a half needs about? To come out on the, a little more. Tiny bit more. A little more. Stop. Move it around. Sorry. I'm no Connor. I'm not I'm not even Connor. <laughs> okay, hang on just a second. You got that there. We gotta make sure the thing's plumb, so hang on, I gotta grab a level. Pop's gotta go over that way here. This way? Yeah, it opens up that gap terribly. It sure does. Which means I gotta pull these shims out. Okay, hold it. I got it. That's probably it right there. Just hang on. I am. Perfecto. Now, we're going to get it where it's kind of tight. Uh-huh. Real close where we want to have it. And then we're going to double check our numbers. Okay. When we know the thing can't fall out. Which is right now, it can't really fall out now. See, it's in there pretty tight with the shims. Okay, so we got it perfectly plumb. 
We got it stuck in there. You can relax. Okay. How are your numbers? And good? This one's not good. How, where's it going to go? Uh, about a quarter of an inch. Out? Toward me, yeah. A little more. There. Okay. Beautiful. So we got that one in. Now. Now what do we do? We got to figure out how to keep it. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, uh, that's important. That is important. Is there a flange to nail or something? No, there isn't. There isn't any. Well, that's stupid. That is stupid. They're old windows, okay? I already explained this. I'm not sure how to catch them. No real good way. Yeah, what are you going to do with the next one? Well, I could. Yeah, I'm just going to toe screw it. This will probably work. It moved. It moved. It just moved back. Mm -hmm. It's in there. Okay. It ain't falling out now. Now, my evil plan was to put non-expanding spray foam in there to hold it. Yeah. Because it'll hold it. Okay. And also when we put the trim on it and the jams, yeah. that'll all hold it too. Right. Yeah, I don't think it's going to fall out. I, you know what? I can catch it down below too. So, this one's going to get caught here. That can't go nowhere. Are you looking good? Yeah. Good numbers. All right. We're, we're looking good. Well, another rainstorm. We're getting a lot of rain this week. It's really wet. Everything's wet and sloppy. Our harvest host people, we're going to have to cut back a little because our yard's getting too wet to drive trailers, heavy RVs and stuff like that on it. So we're going to cut back to three this week, but that's kind of a bummer. But as far as working on this, I'm making some headway. We got the windows in. The Empress just helped me do that, which was awesome. Then I was going to mow the lawn, but it started raining again. So anyway, I guess what I better do next is start cleaning this mess up. One of the critiques I've always had against me is what a mess I make when I'm working. But at least I'm working. So, you know, there's that. But yeah, so I got to clean up this mess. I can't even concentrate in here anymore. And sometimes you just got to step back, take a breath, clean it up, and start over. Well, the fellas are back. I left him a message last week. He's back this week. Caught me a little off guard, but you know what? He's such a good guy to work with. It was no problem at all. We got this thing all ready to go. So he's spray foaming. He's going to do all the walls. I decided to do that a little, little bit on the late side. Close up the windows. And he's just going to start spraying. You can see there's some foam already. It plugs the holes up completely, which is awesome. And I got a wire sticking out there. I got a wire sticking out up top there for outdoor lighting. Uh, anyway, so I finished up the wiring this morning when Jason showed up. And he's just in there doing his thing. He's almost done. And I didn't have to monkey around with fiberglass. And this thing's going to be like a thermos bottle. I can't wait. So cool. He was able to tape this off. So I'll be able to still put my boards in there. A little cardboard on one side. And then a shot the other side closed. Beautiful. This is going to be tight. Plus it adds some structural rigidity. Hey guys, kind of a quick video right there. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you guys on the next one.